Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. I almost said Saturday because all day I've been feeling like it's Saturday and I can't let go of that feeling. It's very strange. It's very strange. Like this morning I woke up and I was like, Saturday? No, it's Friday. It's only Friday. <laughs> so I hope you're having a happy Friday, a happy Easter week, a happy Good Friday. Hello. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Enjoy games. I love it. That's really catchy. That's super catchy. Oh my gosh, let me turn this down a little bit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Happy Easter weekend for those of you who are celebrating and for those who aren't celebrating. Happy Bunny Day weekend <laughs> for all of you. Bunny Day is approaching. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to do Bunny Day or not, but like, we'll, we'll just... We'll enjoy Zipper and all of his like good times. So hello everyone, hello. I'm so glad to see you. I have been grinding all day. I've been filming for my other channel all day. So I got, how many videos did I get down today? Three? Three videos done today. I'll do five tomorrow? That's only eight. But that's a good amount, cause like I'm behind. Is that a real dog behind you? It is. That is a, that is a real dog. <laughs> Look at that. There you guys. You guys can see him a little better now. That's Clover. I have worn Clover out today, so he's tired. So that's what he's gonna be doing for the rest of the e of the evening. I uh, I'm I'm gonna take him out to like at like nine to like pee and then he's gonna be like out out you forgot about this game no animal crossing's the best <laughs> oh ginger am you're welcome sometimes i feel like i don't put in enough work on both channels but uh yeah today we're grinding we're grinding we're gonna like because next week here here's the here's the real situation next week is my birthday and i need to take the entire week off I mean, Tuesday I have a concert to sing, but let's be honest. Let's be fully honest. That is not work. Okay. Even though they're giving me money at the end of the concert, it, it, I'm doing the Mozart Requiem and I'm in the quartet and that is not work. <laughs> that is fun times, right? Sometimes when I like, at the end of concerts, when they can me a check, I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> like, I just don't, I'm like, really? You want to give me money? Please, it's just, it's so much fun. 
it's so much fun. So, um, and then after that, I have a break from music for like a couple of weeks and I'll still be grinding. But like the next concert I have planned, well, no, it's not planned. Well, it's planned that I'm gonna be in it. It's also super fun because we're doing um, William Grant Still, Florence Price, and um, the Foray Requiem, which is like, I don't know why I'm doing all these Requiems, but like, so fun, so fun! I can't wait, okay. Anyway, let's talk about what's been happening in St. Rosie. <laughs> Judy's leaving, Judy is gone, baby gone. She is gone, she has peaced out. She said, Yo, she said, I'll see you later. I'm out of here. It's the end of an era. It's the end of an era. It's IWOA testing week for you. What does that mean? Is that like a, um, a school testing time? Will you be streaming next week or is that considered work? Streaming is not work. Streaming is still fun. <laughs> I guess streaming is kind of work, but it is fun. So I will be streaming next week. I just won't be like filming um, for my other channel next week. Taurus Gang. Yes, Taurus Gang represent, right? Taurus Gang. Ooh. Laser drops. I love this. <laughs> Who? Okay. So let's talk about um, what we're doing this evening. So we're going on a villager hunt because I have to replace Judy. However, I don't, I have all these amiibo cards now, right? <laughs> and I could easily, re I, would, I could replace her. Thank you, uh, Gabriel. I could replace her with like Sasha or whatever, but like, that's not fun. That's not fun. So here's, here's the deal. I want to replace her with someone nice. Cause Judy, let me tell you, of all of the villagers on my island, do you know who created the most drama? Judy. Judy. Judy would, okay, in the plaza, like a lot, Judy would like casually talk to a villager and then they would be fighting. It happened a lot. And I've had multiple like, snooty villagers on my island, but for some reason, Judy had all the sass and was like making trouble everywhere. And after she made the trouble, she was just like smiling and having a good time. And like watch, she, she would like, it was like that that meme where you see the girl and she's in the back, there's like a burning house and she's like this. It was like that. So I miss Judy, she was chaos and I miss her. But it's time, it's time, it was time for her to move on. And I have her amiibo, so if I want her back, it's fine. <laughs> but she was a trouble starter. And so now, I, w I feel like, even though I don't like normal villagers, I don't like normal because their dialogue is boring, I feel like I should replace her with a normal villager. Or, or, okay, we've got too many, maybe, we've got too many peppies though. We've got, we've got Shino, and we've got Tabby. But we can have another peppy. I wouldn't mind. But I'm thinking either, this is seriously, this is seriously what I'm thinking of, and you guys are already guessing, Chevra or Lily. Oh my gosh, Rosie or Mary. I, I would love them. So we'll just kind of like, we'll go on a hunt and we'll take whoever, like, whoever, right? I mean, if Lily, sh and Lil okay, let's, Lily has never shown up. <laughs> Desi? See, Des Desi is just trolling. She knows. You know. You know that we're not taking Marina. You know that. <laughs> you know Marina already worked her way to St. Rosie and she caused chaos. She's not invited back, but her house was fun to do in HHP. It was very fun. Very fun. Blue Bear, Blue, is Blue Bear a drama starter? <laughs> Megan would be cute too. <laughs> Megan would be cute too. Let's just get into it and we will we will decide when we get into it. Oh my gosh, what is, what's happening? What is, oh, I'm in my basement just chilling? <laughs> That's where I left myself? Lauren, yes, Friday Night Hunt. I don't know why. Um, I'm in my basement just chilling. Apparently, let's let's just switch over. Um, so I re I redid my house like completely. I'm not totally done. 
because I want to make a video so I'm not going to show you guys the entirety of the house but you can see the basement you can see the basement I have made I have made a plant room I have made a, a plant a plant mom room so we've got um, all kinds of plants this like I would this is my dream like personally I mean I have sort of a plant room here in my office it's sort of my plant room plant mom room dream but like this is like an entire room dedicated to like plant mom stuff and i'm um i'm here for it and plus we've got this over here so it's really nice um but that's all i'm gonna let you guys see and i may redo this you know but in the meantime let's see what's in our pockets why why do, why do i have all this stuff in my pockets let's just put it withdraw funds there's no funds in there okay um we're gonna put that in storage we're gonna put that in storage um, oh my gosh, Suli, are you in the chat? If you are in the chat, thank you so much for your um, bells. <laughs> I um, I did expand my storage, so now I can put all the things in the storage. I think I had enough bells, but I was like selfish, and I didn't want to like spend all of them. You know, all of them. So it definitely it helped. Uh. Queen at, Queen at pa ca Pack Crossing. I probably messed up that name. It's good to see you. Thank you for sending good vibes. All right, put the star fragment in there. Let's um, grab some Nook Mile tickets. Do you guys like this song too? Is this like, is this KK Lovers? It's like the only song I have playing down here because I like it so much. I, is Has someone done a cover of it? We're gonna grab a hundred by the way. One, two, three, Four. Okay, bye, Ginger Ram. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. All right. Um, okay, don't look at the living room. It's not done. Don't look. <laughs> don't look. I guess I was just chilling. In my basement the entire evening. Wow, night hunt. It's like almost 8 o'clock. No matter what happens, besties, we're ending at 10. <laughs> Who are we looking for? Somebody sweet or somebody sassy. So we're, we're talking like Lily, Chevra, or like I would actually take Rosie or Mary. But what are the chances, right? What are the chances? That song was Chill Wave? I thought it was KK Lovers. Someone confirm. Chill Wave or KK Lovers? I'm not doing a poll. <laughs> Imagine the poll. My fiance's at GameStop to pick up something and I called to ask. And called to ask if I wanted a micro SD for my extra switch storage. That's why this is why I'm marrying him. Alex. That's 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 good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay, KK Lover's good. I thought I was going bananas. Pretty say this is for Friday. Friday, April 15, 2022. Oh, by the way, you want to look? Okay, some hair is here. Woo! Bye, bye, Michelle. So hair is here. Yes, we're going to get an updated house tour as soon as I'm done, but it's going to be a video. So... You have to watch out for that. I did post pictures of my bathroom on Twitter, but I've changed the bathroom around since I did that too. I can't, okay. I'm just gonna ignore these things buried and I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go, okay? We're just gonna go. It's all fine. Let's go to Judy's house. We'll look at the empty lot. We'll get sad. RIP Judy, okay? Just everybody get sad for a moment. I like took all the decorations out of her yard. It's pretty sad. I'm sad. Wait, no, that's not sad. This, wait, that's not the right button. This is sad. What did you use for shower curtains in the bathroom? Those are um shower, those are partitions. Desi, you sent me things? Are they for the hunt? <laughs> oh, what do you, uh, what? Do, see, he didn't even like, walk to me. Oh wait, I was too late, I was too late. I was too late. 
Jackie, yes, I'm gonna be 29 again. Can't wait. Can't wait, 29th birthday. It's my last birthday in my 20s. I'm so sad, what am I gonna do? Who wants to be in their 30s? I mean, that ancient, right? All right, all right, all right. Look at all these things. Look at all these things. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, Kaylin, we'll see you later. You got two things. No message. No message. <laughs> Lauren. Oh, what's this? What's this? I have turned 29 many, many times. I mean, we're not gonna discuss it. We're not gonna discuss how many times I've turned 29. Let's see, what, I can't, I can't see, I'm blind. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Ooh, thank you, Desi, you're the best. Thank you so much. How cute. Adorbs, adorbs. And for those who don't know, I will not be turning 29 on Wednesday. <laughs> I won't even be. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let me tell you though, for real, I got a, um, <laughs> the only thing you need to know is that I'm very close to getting a colonoscopy, like less than a decade away. Just saying. And that's okay. That is okay. Close to 40? Raul, your checks in the mail. <laughs> your checks in the mail. I was born in the greatest decade. 70s. <laughs> Your doctor wants you to be getting one soon? Oh, it's really, it's not. It's the, the, the prep, I, I guess, is worse than the, because, oh, say, my husband just had one. He and I are a little bit, we have a little bit of an age difference, like, like five years. Um, but he, his, like, prep, the whole thing, he was so terrified. He was like, what? I'm so, I'm so upset. What am I going to do? I'm like, you'll be fine. You won't remember it. They, they'd put you in the conscious sedation. They'll inject you with like a thing and you'll be loopy for about 10 seconds and then you'll you'll wake up in the recovery room great <laughs> how do you get the curtain partition um you can get it in hhp but they'll sell it in nooks just like any other piece of furniture you're better off just like trading with somebody you know honestly because like some of these things are hard to get you know what i mean all right first island it's a bamboo island which is interesting Weber, Nora, hi. It's Caro, I mean that's true, but like, I it's for good. It's for it's for good. You know they want to make sure that you don't have any of the bad stuff here. Hey, Sienna, we don't share. Um, I don't friend up everybody on on uh, the channel because that would that my friend list would really fill up a lot. Um, but we do have a discord where like people can hang out and chat and become a friendos there. So I would advise you if you are 13 and older to join the discord, hang out, make lots of buddies. Anna, hello. Are you looking for any specific villagers? I'm looking for like Lily, Chevra, Rosie, or Mary. I just came up with that name. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is kind of terrifying to, to if you've never been under conscious sedation ever, um, it can be scary to have someone like do that to you. <laughs> um, but I mean, again, you won't remember it. What I really wish that I could get conscious sedation, sedation for, and like this is like now like grown up talk, is a mammogram. <laughs> Like, honestly, I don't want to, I don't want to be awake during that. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Eve's, yes, Eve's okay. It's just, it was routine. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. There you go. Jen, hello. Who's here? Another duck, Mallory. Mallory's here. Okay, well, we're just... I'm gonna... I'm looking for bottles, though, on every island, just to... Okay, well, as soon as I said that, here's one. I know, right? Ouch, right? I just... Ugh. It's very squeezy. I don't like them. I don't like them. Butter churn. Now I get one. Now I get one. <laughs> now I get one. Hello, Melly B. You have braces as an adult? Tiffany, wow. You know what, my friend, um, my friend Bar Vartan had braces as an adult. I think he was like 40 something when he, for, when he got the braces. He had them for like six years. It's, it's so, it's, it is kind of weird as an adult to have, to, to have them. Um, I had them when I was, um, it's like 14, 15. They were weird then. But then I did Invisalign and, um, that was okay, but my, my teeth kind of went back to their old position and I just kind of gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, were you? I remember, the, remember like the butter churn, like I just couldn't find the butter churn. You had braces in your 40s, you loved them. They are fun. Like I had fun wearing them. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, now I'm cool. I have braces, I'm super cool. That's the only reason I don't have a gap in my front teeth. That's the only reason. You just turned 28 and you got them on and turned 30 next month. You should be getting them off soon. Oh my gosh. You're going to feel so good when they come off. It, the, the, there's no better feeling than someone taking your braces off. There's Angus. Speaking of that, there's just like stories about my dad. Um, my dad was an oral surgeon and that's not an orthodontist, by the way. So when I, I had braces, he had his friend put them on, like a colleague, and because he didn't really work on family. Um, and um, the day that I was supposed to get them taken off, my orthodontist was running late or something and wasn't there. So they just gave my dad the tools and they were like, you can take them off. And I was horrified because my father even though he was a good dentist, was not an orthodontist. I didn't want him touching stuff in my mouth. And he was not like the gentlest. <laughs> and one of the like the, the the ones around the molars, like the little things that wrap around your molars had like moved up into my gum. And it was the most painful experience. <laughs> I was so mad. And I never let him touch my, touch my teeth again. Never. <laughs> I hope they paid him. He was the chief of surgery. They definitely paid him. You know what though? My dad um, loved dentistry and loved, loved it, loved it. Like he loved doing stuff and taking, pulling teeth and doing all that. He wanted me to become a dentist so bad. <laughs> Julie, thank you. He was so handsome, right? Oh my gosh. My dad was the best. Who this? Is this Roswell? Ooh, he looks fun in the in the at at the night. Look at how colorful he is. Unfortunately, not not the one we're looking for. So we'll just move on. My dad's like, you you own a root canal. Ooh, Jen, can you get a second opinion? <laughs> the idea of a root canal is like, ugh. Julie also. Um, when I was in elementary school and middle school and stuff, when my father used to come pick me up from school, the girls used to be like whispering in the corner. They'd be like, is that her brother? Is that her brother? He's so cute. And I, I used to be like, it's my dad. <laughs> Loves to take teeth out. It sounds like the dentist from Little Shop of Horrors. He basically was, and he loved that scene from the Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> He loved that. He thought that was the funniest. Man, man, I miss my dad. 
He's a funny dude. Oh, you're making them sedate you? Oh, that's, that's good, Jen. You have to be sedated during stuff like that. I like... I've had all four of my wisdom teeth cut out right before. <gasps> right before or after I have braces, so I'm scared for that. <gasps> oh, so they're going to take your wisdom teeth out either before or after? Make them do it after? I don't know. Getting your wisdom teeth out is totally fine. It was fine for me. I had them all out four at once as well. Just um, afterward, if you have pain, it's not fun. But like, I didn't really have a lot of pain. Well, I had a little pain. I had like a dry socket at one point and that was like not good. But I was over in a few days. It's Genji, right? Is this Genji? I at least want to talk to Genji, kind of. We're not taking him, but I just want to speak to him. Hello? Where, where'd you go? He's like a ninja. D Hello? Our floor at once are you made of steel? <laughs> I'm not made of steel. You know who made me take them all out at once? Dr. Patterson. <laughs> Dr. Patterson used to inspect my, my teeth every semester when I came home from college. He was just waiting. He was waiting till the, he thought they were gonna be impacted. He just wanted me to take him out. He really wanted it. And again, he had a colleague doing it. And then, <laughs> I'm making my dad sound like a cruel man. He wasn't cruel. And then I remember I was still like knocked out from like the, um, the, the, the drugs. And I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. And I have like a mouthful of gauze and they're like, yeah, it's down the hall. And I'm like, you're making me go down the hall by myself. But like at the time I was like all drugged up. I didn't think about it. And I bear, friends, I'd almost did not make it to the bathroom. <laughs> I was weaving and falling, bopping. Like I, they should have just wheeled me to the bathroom. Or maybe I'm remembering that wrong. I just remember it not being able to like make it to the bathroom all the way. <laughs> Was he like Willy Wonka's dad? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he was a good dentist though. He called all of his patients every single night after he had seen them, every single one of them. He had a list and after dinner, he would sit there and he would call all of them. It would take like an hour. He was the best doctor. So, yeah. Oh my God, Monique! What's up, girl? She, look at her, she's all dressed up. All dressed up on an abandoned, <laughs> on an abandoned island. <laughs> Tiffany, he was great. He was great. Yeah, Carol, yeah, no, dentists are cool. Dentists are cool. Dentists are cool. Even though I still don't like going to the dentist, um, the fact that my dad was a dentist and makes me think that like, you know, some good, a lot of good people are dentists and my dad was a really great person. Like a very superior human, a great human. I love Monique's mold too. She's like, she's like, fresh. she's seriously like, She's dressed to the nines on like a random and abandoned island and I respect that, you know? That's the kind of energy I'm living for, honestly. Okay, so far. By the way, this outfit, I'm feeling this outfit, this outfit. Oh, I forgot you can't like turn, you can't focus the camera in here, that's annoying. All right, come on Orville. Oh, Tiffany, thanks. I'm doing better now. You know, sometimes when somebody um, leaves this earth and you feel a lot of time feeling, you spend a lot of time feeling sad. Um, and nowadays I'm, I'm spending a lot of time reflecting on like how much I loved him and how good of a person he was. You know, and that's really... Nice. <laughs> she's spending so much time dressing up that she's alone on an abandoned island. I know what's what gives. 
All right. Wait, who? Oh, flip, flip. Flip. Flip's okay. What do you guys think? He's just a monkey. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> Angela, oh my gosh, give your dog a pet for me. My dog disappeared. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Jackie, exactly, right? What is Tropical Smoothie Cafe? What is that? What we're talking about that? What is that? <laughs> should I should I Google that? Oh my gosh, Sarah. Sending so much love to you. It's like Jamba Juice? Wait, okay. Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's like a jump. Well, okay, first of all, I don't know what Jamba Juice is. I know what it is, but like I've never been to Jamba Juice. No, you'd call your dad. <laughs> call your dad. Um. So you'll have to educate me. Is it a place where you can just only get juice and smoothies? And I think that I haven't been to Smoothie Tropical Smoothie Cafe because, and this is a really controversial. This is a hot take. Get ready. Get ready to cancel me. I don't like smoothies. I'd rather eat my plant fiber. There, I said it. I said what I said. <gasps> Zucker! <laughs> Hold on, let me get this bottle. <laughs> I'm canceled. I know. What's in this one? Golden wall? What? Excuse me. What's a golden wall? Yeah, I don't like, I, I've i tried. Oh, I didn't have this? Interesting. I've tried to enjoy a good smoothie, but like the thing is, if I want to eat fruit, I'm just going to eat the fruit. Desi, you're quitting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like smoothies. I don't like them. Um, hi, Zucker. Why don't, why are you not on salt bay? I don't understand your, what's your problem? Um, you know who loves smoothies though? Is my husband. Loves them. But you can hide spinach in it. Luke, here's the point. Why are we hiding spinach? Why are we just not eating it? <laughs> I like spinach. Oh, the lime green names. <laughs> You're right. Wait, let me see if I can circumvent that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, look, now we have green. The color of spinach. Spinach isn't a background dancer. It's a main attraction. <laughs> Tiffany, thank you. You're not wrong. I love spinach. Spinach is so good. The only thing about spinach that makes me a little bit uncomfortable is the feeling on your teeth after you eat spinach. Why is that? Is that because of the iron in it? I, I don't know. There's something in it that when you eat spinach, just spinach by itself, like cooked spinach, I don't think the same thing happens when you eat raw spinach, but I don't like raw spinach. When you eat cooked spinach, you get this feeling in your t on your teeth that's like, it's like you have chalk on it. I don't like that, but I do like spinach. I will eat the spinach regardless of the squeaky teeth. I like some just some sauteed spinach or like best of all. Okay, let's discuss. If you're at like a nice steak place, Black Swan, hello. If you're at like a nice steak place, you get some cream spinach. You have died and gone to heaven. Like, it's so good. <laughs> I love cream spinach. It's delicious. Delicious. Which, I mean, to be fair, like, just takes away everything about eating spinach because, like, basically it's like dairy and spinach, but, like, it's so good. Who's here? Candy. Cream spinach, right? Oh, it's so good. So, oh, or spinach artichoke dip. Yes. yes. You can't eat cooked spinach. It has to be raw. That's where you can you can have all my raw spinach and I'll eat all your cooked spinach. Because I don't like raw spinach. 
Like whenever there's raw, like raw spinach, like a spinach salad, like I'll eat it if it's if it's like served to me, you know, like if I'm at your house and you're like, here, have a spinach salad. I'm like, oh, okay. But if like I have a choice, I'm not picking to eat raw spinach. There's something about it. But I like cooked spinach. Stacy, hello! Welcome back! How do you remember their names? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stacy, that's really funny because I've been so busy today filming. Um, but a lot of the filming hasn't been me talking. So this is like the first time of me really talking today. So maybe that's why. Um, actually, I've, I've talked to Clover a lot. That's not true. I talked to Clover like all day. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You want to go to dinner? You want to go for a walk? And like, it's just like talking to Clover. Oh, who's that? It's a, this is, okay. Literally, if you guys don't know, and this is the tea, okay? I like all the villagers. I do, but you know what? I don't like this one. Wait, where'd she go? I don't like this one, okay? We have a 20 something year beef and it, it will not be squashed. This is my enemy, okay? This is my Animal Crossing enemy, and we will never be friends again, okay? I hate this villager. This villager was mean to me in the GameCube game, and I will never forgive her for it. And plus, the I don't like any of the ruse because the babies freak me out, okay? So there. Look at, I mean, look at, look at her. Oh, there's a spider. Yep, see? She's guarding the tarantulas. There's Jeremy for all you Jeremy lovers out there. See? There he is. Look at him. Look at this. Can you believe this? The nerve to show up my villager hunt. Okay, we're gone. <laughs> Trish, hello. <laughs> you didn't like Astrid either? See, there it is. There it is. Astrid can stay on this island. She can stay. Oh, your son's name is Jeremiah. <laughs> Melina, hello! Welcome in, welcome in. So I don't know if I have the energy to make dinner tonight. Now the bad thing about today is I had McDonald's for lunch, which is horrendous. Horrendous. So I should have something healthier for dinner. But if I order in, then it kind of goes out the window, doesn't it? A little bit? I mean, I could order like sweet green, but like I could also just make a salad, you know what I mean? Marcel. None. How many of you guys like Marcel? I feel like Marcel is a little bit polarizing because he's, he's a, he's, he's a mime dog. And he's got kind of, kind of a shocking expression, right? But I mean, kind of a little bit, kind of cute. And he says, none. Right? Cause he's like a little Marcel Marcel. I'll put his fire out. Hi. <laughs> this is Friday. Spend your money on food. <laughs> Be chaotic. <laughs> your fave salad. Order that. I think he's cute. You think it's creepy? He's creepy cute. Maybe. I don't know. Joker dog. <laughs> Jen, you're not wrong. I mean, like the 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 mime is almost as creepy as clown. Okay, if you're gonna have like a creepy island, and you're going for those vibes, like, has anyone done this? I'm sure it's been done. Like creepy abandoned circus vibes. Like who's there? Pietra's there. 
Marcel is there. Who else is there? Like an elephant? What, like Big Top or something? Who else is on this island? Hopkins! Hopkins is totally there. Rodeo is also there. Stitches is so there. Okay, hot take. Stitches, cute, but also very creepy because he's like a Frankenstein teddy bear. I don't like it. Muffy is there. Margie is also there. Harry, Coco. <laughs> Tia. Is Tia there? Oh, we got a ladder island. Yeah, Rodeo, he's cool. He, he definitely is cool. Lucky. What about this one? Is this one there? Is she there? I just don't like the helmet villagers because they never take their helmets off and that upsets me. Does um, O'Hare ever take his little hat off? Like, he's modeled after a Japanese festival mask? That's fascinating. <gasps> Mira. Stitches is your favorite lazy. Oh, was your favorite lazy, then Sasha came. Oh, Sasha like kicked Stitches to the curb. Wow. Anka's there? Mm. Would Anka be like a creepy fortune teller type villager? You know? Tammy the monkey? You mean the one with the pea hands? <laughs> oh, Harry does take off his hat? Okay. See, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I've ever had a villager who like came with a hat on. I think it's weird with villagers come with hats. I mean, I understand that he's was like an island villager from like the the GameCube days. But like, I just the vill it comes you you have a hat on all the time. Why? Okay. It's Vivian, right? This is Vivian. Yeah, Chai can take off her cup hat, right? Oh, Audie comes with sunglasses. You, you're right. And she never takes them off. I never noticed them, though. Oh, Sherry's the spider monkey with the pee hands. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Touche. Oh, I like Boomer's hat, too, and Puck's hat, too. Okay. All right, all right, all right. You guys, you guys got me. Pac? I had Pac in my first Animal Crossing game on GameCube, and I adored him. I thought he was so cute. I loved him. Oh, Michelle. Mm, grief is weird. Sending all the love to you, too. It's super weird. Like, I, I do... I. I can't believe, um, I just can't believe he's gone. Oh, Carol, what happened? Oh, <laughs> Streamlabs got mad, got mad. <laughs> I gotta like tone down some of Streamlabs like, like, uh, toleration. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. Oh, I'm not gonna take her, but Aurora's pretty cute. She's not my favorite um, penguin, but she's really cute. Should we get the money? I don't really care about the money right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the villagers. Bruh. 
Oh, I forgot this. I forgot. The sounds don't stop now. You can play multiple sounds at once. Alright. They improved. They updated that software and now you can play multiple sounds at once. <laughs> Yay! Um. Oh, what? Wait, you just found Phoebe. Oh, you already have two sisterlies. Cherry and Quinn. Well, I don't know, man. Uh, what about... <laughs> Music Mama Kimba, we won't talk about that. Uh, Phoebe's so good, though. Phoebe's such a good villager. Lauren, you're not bringing the vibe down, don't worry. Oh my gosh, April, Nicole, really? Your son and you had to get money left on your playlist? <laughs> Almost all lady villagers? Well, something wrong with that. I say take the Phoebster. But don't let us decide. You know, ultimately you have to, you have to set the vibes. Oh my god, you again? Ladies and gentlemen, and they, Julian. Julian, you can't even see it. He's hiding behind a tree. All right, I just gotta go. <sighs> Is that a blessing, though, that we saw Julian? Should we do, like, a, a Ryan FTW-style blessing? Like, what... Wait, can we... Where's the... Is it... Which one is it? Is it this one? The apologetic one? Where is that? That's this one, right? Okay. We need to program that. So if we get the blessing... We'll put that in place. No, no. Hello. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The Zucker blessing, yes. Yes. We're gonna do it with Julian. We're gonna steal we're gonna steal things, but we're gonna we're gonna also make it our own. Where did he go? Did he go behind the tree? Hello? Okay. Wow. Nothing. Snubbed. Amazing. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go. <sighs> wow. Just, uh, snubbed. Snubbed. He did not pass the vibe check for a child. <laughs> that was some, um... That was some interesting snubbing. H how much have we done here? I have like random turnips. Oh shoot. Tomorrow's Saturday, I'm gonna need to sell those. I haven't even been checking tulip prices. This is like, uh, Joan gave me these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've only, we've only, wait. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's coming together. I'm like, yeah, we will use five tickets. And I'm like, no, no, no. Count again. Count again. You have Julian Sol uh, Solomita. I haven't really um, watched a lot of his content. All I know is that he's with uh, Jenna Marvel. That's all I know. Oh, Clover's back. He's back and he sleep. He sleep. Wow. Uh, from one extreme to the next. We have, uh, what is this? Ro 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 Rocco? Ro Roscoe. Wow. Roscoe's not really my style, uh, but he's cool, I guess. You dropped 400 tickets for Julian? Oh, if you roast him on stream. <laughs> okay, well, let me, okay, Julie. We got Julian in like, okay, for my first time for Julian, we did not find him. Okay, 
And then my second Hyper Julian, we found him in like six tickets. And I invited him to my island. And he came there. And he just caused chaos and left. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> Whatever is he, Julian? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lauren, yeah, I have a I have a problem. I play like a lot. It's bad. I'm not gonna lie, my husband bought 15 packs of series one amiibo cards just to find Bob. He was in the last pack. <gasps> Imagine. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys had filmed it or something. Imagine. Like the anticipation of finding Bob in the last pack. Bob is a, such an icon. I don't know if I could leave him on an island. Like, if Bob showed up, we might be taking Bob. But let's hope for, like, somebody sweet or sassy, okay? It's not this one. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep going, okay? You've left Bob. I've left Bob so many times and I feel really bad about him. <laughs> I feel so bad about it. You still want Ioni? Oh my god, Ioni is so good. So good. So I found three packs of, I have bought so many Amiibo cards in the last like month, I should be stopped. I found three packs of series one cards at the Target in like Everett, Massachusetts. And I was like, hey, <laughs> no, we're not doing Clover Cam. Clover Cam is finished. Um, and uh, I got, who else do did I get? I got some good NPCs. Your local target has no amiibos. I know you gotta like drive for those. And I, Desi, I haven't mailed anybody's things yet. It's in my car waiting to be taken to the post office tomorrow. Be patient. <laughs> I have three packages in my car waiting to be taken to the post office. Waiting. The post office is scary, by the way. I hate that place. Ioni is really good. She's a really good villager. Speaking of really good villagers, there's a really good villager here. I know it. You know it. We all know it. But we can't find them. Oh, no. Wait a minute. This is Sheldon. <sighs> Guys, what do we think of Sheldon? Okay. Be honest. My local had them in the back of the store. Same with my, I had to, well, at my local, local target, I had to ask and they had, he had them in the back and he wouldn't sell me like more than five packs. <laughs> Sheldon's baby, he's okay. He was your starter? Is he a jock villager? See, Ella, I'm with you. I'm like... You love June? I love June, too. She's really she's really sweet. He's alright. He's cute, I guess. You know who was just alright? Who had, like, really good potential? And this, this is also gonna get me cancelled. Olive the bear? The cub? I had her on my island for like, I don't know, a couple months. She's all right. You know, she was like only all right. And you know who was underrated, who like was an autofill that I didn't expect to like, was uh, Deli. Deli was so cute, adorable. I let him move when he wanted to move, but he was still cute. I loved him. I thought he was adorable. And I, I was like, you're unexpectedly cute. And his house, super cute. Yeah, she's got, she could have, she's got the, the huge, the huge eyes that look like this. She's cute, don't get me wrong, Olive, but like, she yeah. yeah. I mean, she's no maple. You know? I have not done Dally and HHP. Is it is his thing good? 
Do you have constipated cub back? What does that mean, Prisca? <laughs> what does that mean? Elaborate, please. Really? This one's T-Bone. Well, I'm, I'm not even going to find out. Maple is Jess's favorite. I'm not surprised by that. Oh, it's a curry restaurant? That's adorable. By the way, I love Pudge, too. Pudge is so underrated. I think he's so... His... I think... You know what made me like Pudge the best? Is his flex house on HHP. I thought that was the funniest thing. I thought that was the funniest thing. What's my most controversial villager opinion? I mean, clearly. Clearly the most controversial villager opinion is this. Okay? And we're not talking about Shino. We're talking about Tabby. Tabby is an amazing villager. She's super sweet. Clover woke up. But look at Tabby is asymmetrical on purpose. And I think that's an amazing design. She's got two differently sized eyes and differently shaped eyes and two different shaped and sized blush like circles. And that's an amazing design to me. Tabby always has my back. There. That's my most controversial animal uh, villager opinion. She's the best. People hate on Tabby all the time and I like it so mad about it. Ty, I'm so, I'm so glad. The fact that I haven't redone Tabby's house though is a crime. I've only done Dom's house, because I, I feel like Dom had the worst house of all the villagers. But like, Tabby's house is also very sad. And I'm gonna redo all the houses. You saw the first village, you saw, when I first saw Tabby on a villager hunt, I saw the back of her and you were surprised. I was surprised too. So Tabby and I go way back. Tabby and I go back to GameCube days. We're talking about, 2003, okay? That's how far Tabby and I go back. Clover? I don't know where Clover's going. Hi! Oh, he's going over here. He's gonna lie in the corner. Okay. He, like, moves around to different places <laughs> and lies down. It's so funny. Oh, alright, alright. Tabby is like a character I would design asymmetrical but would hate having to do an asymmetric design. It's rough. I like War Junior too. <gasps> do a spin the wheel with Tabby? That would be fun. This is okay. Got okay, let's discuss. This is a superior villager that no one talks about. This is Static and he's amazing. Look at it. Okay, first of all, he's got a lightning bolt on his head. Like, let's discuss that. He's basically Pikachu in grumpy boy form and he's fantastic. One of the greatest villagers. Now I have Static's amiibo, so I'm not gonna take him here, So, but I can invite him anytime. But like, he's one of the best villagers, an S tier villager. And I also had Static in my GameCube game. I mean, seriously. Look, look at him, look at him. Look, he's too cool for you. He's purple and yellow. He's too cool for you. Yes, Carol, he is Marshall, but with more power. <laughs> then he says, this is rough, but we're gonna leave him here because we want somebody sweet. Is he based on Static Shook? Sh static Shock? Because I'm getting this. What, what do you mean? What is that? <laughs> yeah, as in like Static 
Uh, you build up a negative charge static? <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Static Shock is a Marvel superhero? Really? Okay, see. I'm exposed because I don't... I'm gonna get me canceled. I don't like Marvel. But you know who does? Mr. K Daisy? Mr. K Daisy is all over like the Marvel, the uh, whatever the other one is. The DC. He's all over it, not me. I like the manga. Tara Ann, hello! I know I never stream this late ever. Oh, he's a DC hoop superhero, okay. I made it in the manga, but like, I don't know. Everyone's everyone's getting everyone's getting worked up because it's DC, not Marvel. <laughs> oh, okay. Another unpopular opinion. And Pat McNamara always roasts me when I talk about this. But like, Barrel is so ugly. He's cute. Look at. Do you hear his little voice? His little lazy voice. Look at it, and look at his little glasses. What really kills Barold though is the shirt. Like, as soon as you give Barold a new shirt, he's way cuter. But this shirt is a hate crime and should be removed from Barold, okay? Just saying. I mean, come on. His house also has like, <laughs> Frisco, yes. His like, I, okay, I wouldn't call it a stalker house. It's more like a security house, okay? <laughs> it's a security house. He had like a lot of servers and stuff. He has, he's got like a, it's a security house. Nintendo Talk Raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. We are doing a villager hunt. We're looking for Pat's favorite villagers. We're looking for truffles. <laughs> no, we're not looking for truffles. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in, everyone. Anyway, I do like, I had barreled. It was really fun. It was super fun. It was, his house is so creepy that it's adorable. I would have loved to have redone his house. I wish that that was available when I had barreled, but I did not. I did not. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for truffles. I actually, I mean, the, the cult of Pat has like seeped into my veins at so intensely that when I opened the series one amiibo cards last week and I got truffles, I did a little chuckle like this. <laughs> That's what I did. So, interesting. All right, who are we looking for? We're looking for um, Lily or Rosie or Chavra or maybe we'll take Blue Bear. But Mary. Also, if we see Bob, we're not. We we can't leave him. Oh, Pat, is Pat in the chat? <laughs> Cause look at this. Look at your son. Look at him. Now we've, I, my Eric, when he moved away, he went to college. Are you on vacation? Pat, hello, you are in the chat. You were summoned. Um, we're gonna leave him today, but I mean, he's he is very adorable. We had him for a long time, a long time. Oh, wait, was that a bottle? Hello. Golden Arowana model. We'll take it anyway, I'll, I'll give it to my other character. Probably got it anyway. Oh my God, let's go. Eric is baby. I also have Eric's amiibo as well. So like anytime Eric wants to come back home from college, he's welcome. He's welcome. Maybe back for a, 
winter time. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you for like, it's spring, right? It's like, it's April 15th, mid-April, starting to get a little warmer. Literally, and I don't know what this was, for like two minutes today, I was nostalgic for winter and Christmas. What is that? We just had that. What is that? I was like, oh, Christmas. Yeah. Um, wouldn't that be good? Remember the snow? And then I was like, I'm sorry. Disgusting. <laughs> Kyle, it's true. The AC is on in Florida. Florida, I mean, we've already discussed Florida is like another, it's Florida's basically like another country. Speaking of pee hands, this is the pee hand one, pee hands. <laughs> mm -mm. You got snow this week? Ella, I would almost cried too. Winnipeg had a blizzard this weekend? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Your, your AC is on in Maryland? Jen. How hot is it down there? You guys are only like 10 degrees difference about here. I don't understand. We only got up into like the 60s today. I had the door open, but not the AC. <laughs> <laughs> and a loud artist voice, Shari! <laughs> Over 80? Oh my gosh. Every, you know what? Every time I do see Shari, I think about Jack Septicai. That's his like legacy in my brain. Is that he hated that monkey so much. And it was the funniest thing on YouTube. If you guys, I don't know why, I don't need to like promote a, a, a YouTuber who has millions of subscribers. But if you have not watched Jack Septicai's playthrough through Animal Crossing, it, the video is like two years old now, of course. It is the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Do yourself a favor and why it's not family friendly, um, but it's hilarious. This is Klaus or Claus if you must, but it's for me, it's Klaus. The thing about Klaus is like this this hair thing, this Grecian. I can't do it. <laughs> you guys are the Sunshine State Dreamer. It's so hot down there. And what's the worst thing I feel like about the Florida weather is the humidity the humidity is terrible <laughs> this is your first time watching live sierra well welcome <laughs> it looks like melted butter i'm dead <laughs> The humidity is a nightmare. Like I, I would not, how, how, if you have curly hair and you live in Florida, what do you do? Do you just wear a ponytail all the time? Do you, like, what, what do you do? <sighs> What's the solution? <laughs> so some of you guys have watched the Jacksepticeye video. They're so funny. They shave their heads. <laughs> ah! All right. Uh, the candy again, and she's got she's got tarantulas. Look it, unbelievable! All of these tarantulas and candy. She's acting like like uh, it's it's fine. You know? Do we catch one or no? This is always uh, Jeremy Island, yeah, source of comedy. Should we? All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get this one. Here we go. Ready? Oh, 
Do you guys like the noises it makes? I, I think it's, it makes me really uncomfortable. Okay. Honestly, let's go. <laughs> I don't have time for this. You guys can be happy. <laughs> yeah, the hissing? I don't like that. They're like, ew. Bring back Jeremy. Should I put it on the island? You guys can enjoy it. Listen. Listen. Excuse me. <gasps> Wait a minute, that's the real Jeremy. That's the actual Jeremy. Accept no invitations, people. Okay? Listen. <laughs> Not this. Not this. Not this. Now justice was served. Justice was served. Are you guys happy now? You guys happy now? Here, look at this. Here, see? See? Should we release it or place item? There. Trapped in front of the place you wanted to be. There. <laughs> there. She ate some milk. Do I need that on my soundboard? That he needs some milk. Should I get a bigger um, stream deck? <laughs> More buttons on it. I think I should. I think I owe my. I think I owe you guys that. I don't have enough buttons on this. Oh, you didn't know that could happen. You never en encountered a tarantula in game. What? You got, you got to play at night. You got, well, don't you, you got to catch one. Kaya, welcome to the stream. No, I didn't find anybody, Kaylin. We just interrupted because there was a tarantula. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. It's for the memes. It's for the memes. Okay. Scrimp goes hello. Welcome. Yeah, they, they jump. It's not good. Who's this big green bear? Is this Charlize? Have we seen all the bears today? <laughs> no, we've only seen like one bear, right? Oh, you want the money song? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why we're not on a money island. Wait, is she sisterly? I'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, whoops. Who are we hunting for? We're hunting for, um, Chevra? We'll take Chevra, Lily, Rosie, or Mary. Where did Clover go? Clover's gone. Clover peaced out. Where did he go? Mary's Bay. I love Mary. I think it would be a really cute friend for, um, for Shino. <laughs> That's great too. I know. Well, you know what? You know why? Because like, I, I have a hard time concentrating when it's on. <laughs> and my, it's not part of my sub mix, so I can't turn it down. I guess I could put, well, No, I can't put it on the sub next. Can I put it on the sub? No, I can't. 
Maybe I can. I don't know. Oh my god. It's small. <laughs> hey, baby, hello. <gasps> Pizza. Tyra. Pizza. It's getting late too. I should decide like whether I want pizza um, pretty soon. Okay, it's off now. I can like <laughs> concentrate. <laughs> Wallet and Rudy are the only male kangaroo. Yes, I know. They're the best. You know what? Walt was the best. Walt is the best. Roo. Of all the roos. I think. Okay. Since we're talking about pizza, controversial opinion or controversial topic. This like divides people. People like, you know, stop talking to people over this. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Actually, you know what? This is poll worthy. This is poll worthy. Pineapple on pizza? Yes, queen. Or ill. There we go. Pull. <laughs> okay. Not this. Not this. Okay. We're not doing this again. We're not. It's, you know, we, we ran into uh, two of, well, you know what? There's one more octopus in the game. So that lowers the chances of running into octopuses, octopi, octopodes. So I guess. Isla, you don't care either way? How can you say that? I feel like you, can, you either you like it or you like hate it. You'll eat it, but you'll never order it? Octopodes. Brigadero and strawberries on pizza. Gabriel, tell me about this. First of all, I'm I'm upset that you suggested that we have strawberries on pizza. But what is brigadero? Is it a cheese? What is it? Is it a meat? What is it? Uh, okay, here's my feeling about strawberries. Y'all know I love strawberries, right? Strawberries are a delicious fruit. But the moment they suggest that I put strawberries in the salad, I'm upset. I don't want to see a strawberry in my salad. I don't want it near my salad. But maybe I should open up. Because I like pomegranate seeds in salads. Cherry, Desi, cherries are very good too. I didn't disparage a cherry. Cherries are delish. All right, where's the villager? Your mom's allergic to pineapple? Oh, rip. And pineapples are a citrus fruit. Oh, wrong goat. Wrong goat. You love fruit and salads? Strawberries with spinach salad? Mika-chan, hello. See, I feel like I should try. I feel like I should try it. <gasps> Mika-chan! Thank you so much for being a member for nine months! Nine months! Thank you so much! Let me see. Did everyone, did everyone vote in the poll? If you haven't voted, please vote or forever hold your peace. I feel like I could sneeze. <laughs> Thank you, Mika Chan. Where's my merch? Um, there's no merch. <laughs> Would you guys buy merch? I I literally don't have. I have like one merch design in mind. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Sarah just described a salad cane would have. Wait, I need to. 
<laughs> Strawberries and spinach salad, yeah, man. <laughs> you might have to do some serious convincing, or it would might it might have to have a superior dressing to go with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I made last week such a good dressing, and I licked the top of the <laughs> the food processor. It was so good, Alex. Thank you so much for 10 months. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. I made this cilantro lime dressing with yogurt in it. I'm, when I'm telling you I licked the top of the food processor, like the lid of the food processor, I'm, I'm dead serious. It was so good. It is a superior salad dressing. I never buy salad dressings, I just make them because it's just, it's too easy. What? All this build up for Vic? Gosh. You don't like tomatoes in salad? <laughs> Tiffany, you don't like tomatoes? I can understand that. They're kind of, um, they're a little bit polarizing. Because they taste sweet. And they're kind of, they're, they're li liquidy. You know? I like tomatoes now, but I used to not like them. I used to like not eat them. But I like them now. There's nothing better. Yes, Tiffany, a homegrown tomato is like a, a whole different animal or like a tomato grown on a farm with like no hormones and stuff and ripened on the vine because as soon as they start artificially ripening tomatoes, they don't taste the same, right? Because tomatoes can be given like ethylene or whatever and they ripe, but like a tomato that's been like left on the vine to ripen. Oh yeah, you slice it and just like a little bit of salt and pepper on it, some balsamic vinegar. Heaven, heaven, heaven. That's why like every July and August, it's time for tomatoes. That's the only time when you really, you would eat tomatoes for tomatoes. So, so yes, same for strawberries. If you've ever grown a strawberry and eaten it, that's when you've tasted a strawberry. And also the same for peas. I'm gonna end the poll. Okay. P official poll results about pineapples on pizza. 61% yes, queen. 38% ew. So most of you like pineapple on pizza. I love pineapple on pizza. I think it's delicious. But literally, if you've ever grown a, like a strawberry, a homegrown strawberry is so good. It tastes so strawberry. Like the flavor is very intense. It's not like a store about strawberry. Uh, it's it's like 10 times better. And if you've ever picked a pea off of the vine and eaten it, then you've experienced what peas taste like. Sweet, delicious, nature's candy. Jackie, thank you so much for 10 months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, Who's here? I love peas. I love peas. When I grew peas, they like never made it inside. I would just pick them outside and eat them and they would never make it inside. Because the moment you start picking a pea, it, the, it starts to lose its sugar. Oh, it's Peggy, right? Is Peggy, Peggy? Peggy's house was so fun. I see ten. I see ten months on here. Yeah, I think there's something weird with a membership chat. As I think, so, hello. Because <laughs> I think sometimes that like, I've I've been hearing that people in chat, the chat, like you can see, like it says a different number of months than you've actually been a member for. Might be a little glitch. Peggy's HHP house is so fun. So fun. If you haven't built for Peggy, you should do it right away. It's literally a supermarket and it's the best house ever. Did it, Jackie? Oh my god, Lizzie! Thank you so much for 10 months! I see seven, but it's been longer. Yeah, there's like some kind of glitch. Thank you so much, we appreciate you. Clover and I. I appreciate you. I'm talking like we have I'm talking like there's like more than one person on the channel. What is that? When I was little, I would take a tomato off the vine and eat it like an apple. I mean, it's it's so good. 
It's so good. And I mean, in summertime, if you can get your hands on like, let's like, if you can go to a farmer's market, get your hands on a some fresh homemade, well, heirloom tomatoes and some fresh basil, make a carprese salad, get some like mozzarella from like a local farm. You are living the high life. A little balsamic vinegar on it, a little olive oil. You are living the best life. Uh, this is Tony the Tiger and we're leaving. You can only eat tomato and a burger if it's thinly sliced. Well, you know what, Tiffany? I kind of agree with you. I don't, if I want, um, a lot of the times I'll ask for a burger without the, the tomato on it because I find it to be very watery. Because those like big beefsteak tomatoes or whatever those tomatoes they use in restaurants can be really watery. I like Roma tomatoes because they have a lot more flesh inside and less water. <laughs> But you know, there's nothing wrong also with a big juicy tomato, but I don't want my burger, it's like so messy. Right? Same. Like, I just, it's too, it's, it's like a huge mess. You take one bite out of your burger and then you're like, have, you need like eight napkins. I don't get, who's got time? You know? Who has the time? So I always buy Roma tomatoes from the store. <clears throat> I gotta get some water. All right. I will be right back. You guys, uh, keep, keep, uh, keep whoever's on the island company. There's some bamboo, so someone's in the back. I, I don't know what we're going to do. Are you going to be doing the sabotage link with Pat? If I can, my schedule has not allowed me to do that for the last couple of weeks, but hopefully in the next round, I don't know. Did we see who's in the background or no? <laughs> you know, honestly, now that I, I have a little bit of energy back, I could, I have stuff for tacos. I could just make that, those for dinner, but I kind of want pizza. You know what I mean? Pizza is so good. So bad for you. Imagine eating McDonald's for lunch and having pizza for dinner. What kind of a life am I leading? Oh, it's Kevin Bacon. Okay, well. We're not in the, you know. <laughs> Tacos just means I have to like chop all those, um, chop all the onions and the tomatoes and all that nonsense, you know what I mean? Shred the lettuce and stuff. Cause what did I order? Oh, I ordered um, ground turkey. I don't like shredded lettuce on burgers. I like big leaf lettuce. Shredded is too messy. <laughs> It's true. It is late to order pizza. I mean, there's definitely places that are open, but like, where are they? I would have to find out. It's not like New York here. Boston, things like shut down. But you can definitely get a pizza at like after 10 if you want. What pizza would you get? Domino's Pizza Hut or something else? Probably something else. I don't know where you would find a Pizza Hut around here. Also, Domino's don't like it. So usually I just go to one of the mom and pop places around here. We've got some cool mom and pop places and we also have some fancy places. I don't like to order from the fancy pizza places. They're often not. <gasps> Anyway, they're often kind of disappointing. 
Look who it is! Friends! But I've never seen Liliana hunt. Never. Girl. Uh, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Leo, l listen. This is an S tier villager. We're taking her. We're taking her. This is an S tier villager. Look how adorable. Have you not, like, look. Plus, oh, she's a frog. We haven't had a frog in so long. We haven't had a frog since Camo Frog. Camo Frog. <laughs> Mom always says there's magic and chance encounters, so I'm glad we ran into each other like When I ran into her, I never expected to be invited to live on your island. Unless you were just teasing me. Oh, who does that? That is so mean. That's the meanest thing ever. Do you really mean it, Toadie? Uh, yeah, of course I meant it. Packing. Where's your stuff? Where? Where's your stuff? I don't see anything. I just see, like, weeds and stuff. Where's your stuff, Lily? <laughs> Okay, you contact Tom Nook. Nice. Well, guys, we did it. We did it. We found Lily. Imagine. We've been looking lit for Lily since like 2020. 2020. Okay. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I am getting her. Mikaelin, welcome, by the way. Welcome. Let's, um, while we're here, we'll just do a little, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> just since we're here, we'll just cut some trees. How many tickets? Um, okay, we started out with a hundred. So let's move this. Wait, nope. Um, so we have one, wait, one, two, three, four. That's 40, 50, 60, 66. So we used... Guys, I cannot math. I, I literally cannot math. I've never been good at math. This is why, this is why actually to this day, I'm not a veterinarian. I was, I, I, I went through the whole pre-vet program. Physics. Okay, the calculations I had to do in physics. Couldn't hack it. I could hack it in chemistry, but for some reason, as soon as I got to physics, every problem set I did, there was so many wrong answers. Um, I don't know what my issue is. And I remember one day, okay, this is a sad story. I was in this pre-med program at the Harvard Extension School and I did so many classes. And probably if I had worked harder, I, it would probably been fine. But like one day I decided, I was like, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get better at this. I'm gonna spend all day doing problem sets. And I did, I spent all day, the day that I had off doing problem sets. I would be lying if I told you I didn't get half the answers wrong, because I did. <laughs> so, that is the reason why <laughs> I ended up becoming a content creator and a musician. Well, I was a musician before anyway. I wanted to be a veterinarian, but I realized it's not, there's a lot of depression that could, yes, Ayla, that was the other reason I didn't really pursue it. It's because I worked in a veterinary hospital. Oops. Oh, well. I worked in a veterinary hospital, um, and there were a lot of 
there was a lot of that every day, every single day. And it was, um, it was hard. It was hard. So like, I, did I pick the, the weed instead of hardwood? Where? Oh yes, I did that, thank you. Um, I just, I was just, I don't think I was, I'm not made of the stuff for it. I admire those who are though. It's tough. It is really tough. What is buried? Why, why are all these things buried? Like, no. It's like I've never played this game before. <sighs> Tiffany, exactly. Some people are just not made for it, you know? I thought for a second, I was like, maybe it's a fossil. Bruh. It's like I've never played Animal Crossing, like ever. You have an uncle that's a vet? Oh man, it's hard stuff. It is really hard stuff. I mean, it's a lot of good stuff too, but it's hard stuff. I just wanna, wait, where did Lily go? For real. <laughs> where did she, no, for, for real, where did she actually go? Did she go behind it? Okay. <sighs> Candace, we were looking for Lily and we got her. I just want to talk to her one last time before I leave. Did she, did she just talk about her mom again? That's good. That's so sweet. You just got Lily from your campsite? I'm so jealous. She's never been to my campsite. Well, finally, after all this time, she showed up for me. She's got a big yard, too. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do for her. I'll have to think of something. I don't hate Bunny Day even a little bit, but I do need, but I do not need more eggs in my store. You know what? Same. I actually really like Bunny Day. I think it's fun. But like sometimes, sometimes when I'm chopping trees and like eggs come out, it makes me a little bit angry. <laughs> like I'm just like, Why? Why, I just wanted wood. Like, come on. I just wanted some wood. So, like, there's not, St. Rosie's just chill. We got Shino here. Hey, how you doing? She's just, you know, hanging. Wow, one player hide and seek. Wow, that's sad. Um, and we got uh, Petrie. Petrie was here. Oh, there she is. Here's Petrie. She's chilling. She is just chilling. So, um, I think now that I've found, you want a quick island tour? Okay, Tiffany, real quick, and then I'm getting off stream because I gotta. I'm gonna order pizza, <laughs> and I'll be back on Monday. So, um, here is, and I got a bit. I got a big day of filming tomorrow. A big, big day. I'm not happy about it, but we're gonna get it. We, you know what? We do the grind so we can take next week off. It's fine. Um, okay, quick island tour. Quick, and it's not done yet. I got. I want to finish it so I can so I can drop the DA, but like it's just not done. Okay, here's the entrance. Are we ready for zipper on Sunday? Oh my gosh! Don't even talk about him. Entrance is here, and then you have the like the plaza. We got the resident services. Very chill. We got a little um, sushi place where you can have your sushi here gourmet sushi and then you can have your fish market you can buy your fish in this little fish market very cute i'm like the last person in crossing to make a fish market but you know what it's fine uh the plaza we've got uh the honey stand now just those aren't that's not glowing honey that's this light shining on the honey okay Jeremy's there. 
We got the farmer's market here. We got little vegetables for sale. We got a flower place where you can buy flowers and plants. And we've got a little place where you can sit and chill out for a minute. And you can have, thank you, Tara Ann. You can have your ramen here at the ramen stand. And then we've got our sweet stand where we can get all of our sweets and things, donuts and ice cream. And then here is the official bakery where you can buy your pies and stuff. I've eaten one of these pies. It looks like I've eaten one of these pies, so I should replace it. But, you know, that's there. What's that noise? Who's thinking? Who's thinking? What do you, what do you want? Yeah, darlings, that sucks. Oh, Michelle, you didn't get your notification? No! No, you should not keep saying that. What's his new catchphrase? Um, do they still say pump it up? They shouldn't. You can say save up. <laughs> That's like an inside joke from college and it never gets old for me. And I can't even explain it. There's no explanation for it. There's no explanation for it. We're not getting that. We're not getting that, okay? Anyway, the plaza is here. We've got this stores. Stores, right? It's all, it's all going down in the plaza right now. We've got um, a little coffee station to Oh, thanks, Trish. Have a great weekend. We've got a little coffee station, coffee vehicle for coffee delivery and enjoying your coffee here next to this little fun place where you can have a picnic. I have not decorated the beaches yet. I took some stuff off my beaches. God, these things buried really kill me. I want to dig it up, but I'm going to ignore it. This is all going to change, but I mean, it's a beach. Life's a beach. Anyway. This, I'm not sure about, okay? This, like, park, museum, dealio. Look at all these buried things. I hate it. These buried things. Thank you, Anne. I don't know, but it's there for now. Uh, up here we've got a transitional area that has nothing really. I have a lot of work to do, okay? A lot of work. We got the farm. The farm, farm's not bad. Farm's not bad, it's kind of cute. You know, it's whatever. And then we've got this little park area that is kind of, eh. I haven't done anything with this area here. So many things are buried and it's making me very upset. Okay. Now we've got the campsite here. <laughs> campsite, uh, just kind of woodsy, nothing special. And oh my gosh, look who's here. Anyway, we've got the, this is the neighborhood part of the island where the villagers live. And they've, oh, we've decorated a little bit for bunny day. Look at that, good times. We've got Tabby's house is here. Sherb's house is up here. And uh, this is Marshall's house. And now we've got Lily's new house. I feel like her living next to Marshall could be drums, as in drama, but, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, you know? Marshall's a lot, but Marshall's my favorite baby. Here, I had something, but I took it away. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'm thinking, like, some kind of fun park, some sort of sweet park. I don't know. And then up here, we've got the, uh, the other neighborhood where four of my other villagers live. We got Ioni, uh, Sheena lives there, and then we've got Petrie's house. Nothing suspicious is happening here. Nothing, okay. Then Dom's house, nothing special. Uh, and then here we got a little picnic area, and uh, we got my house, and that's it. There's tons of things buried, and like my mailbox is blinking, but friends, it's been fun. I gotta go. We cut it right at two hours, which is fantastic. I'm gonna order some pizza or make tacos. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But thank you so much for coming. And uh, happy 
Easter time, if you celebrate. Don't eat too much chocolate. I hope you find all the eggs that you hide. And if you do Bunny Day, uh, I'm sending you good vibes for Bunny Day. <laughs> and uh, cause just prepare yourself, zipper's coming back. And I'll see you all on Monday. Have a good weekend, everybody, bye!